already have done inverse trigonometric functions and the prerequisite of this session will be uh, we are going to revise it uh, once it's assumed that you are done with the NCRT and J means level question so here we are going to learn some new techniques using problem solving the best way to solve and the master and concur mathematics is I feel is you can do it while solving lots of problem and the quality problem of course so let us start with the question number one and the question goes like you have to calculate the value of summation n equals 0 to 10 cot inverse 1 plus 2 raised to the power 2n plus 1 over 2 raised to the power n let's call the value of this will be cot inverse a by b so we need to calculate log base 2 a plus b over b minus a so this is our question you pause the video and try to think over this we'll shortly give the solution to it okay so let us ask the idea like what's the idea of approaching this problem what is the thought process the moment we see the problem the idea is in these kind of summation series you try to convert into tan inverse of something now we'll try to break this into two parts so that will be tan inverse of something one minus tan inverse of something two which motivates us to bring tan inverse s1 minus s2 by one plus s1 is two so the idea in this kind of problem is like whenever we are being given cot inverse or sine inverse or cos inverse you bring it to tan inverse fashion and tan inverse has a very special structure we know that tan inverse a minus tan inverse b is going to be tan inverse a minus b or 1 plus a b obviously there is a restriction on this uh, we can write it if and with these natural numbers since n is running from 0 to 10 so it's automatically going to take care of those restrictions so our target is to be bring s1 minus s2 and 1 plus something so what we can see here is we have 1 plus something so if i convert that expression into tan inverse you know cot inverse theta is tan inverse 1 by theta so it will be 2 to the power n by 1 plus 2 raised to the power 2n plus 1 now what next well, next the thought will be to put this into a two factors s1 s2 such that their product is 2 raised to the power 2n plus 1 and their difference is going to give you 2 raised to the power n Clearly, to get a difference of 2 ka power n, we must have 2 ka power n present in both of these expressions. So, let's try a uh, little bit guesswork. So, 2 to the power n we can separate and we'll have 2 to the power n. Their product will give 2n. So, plus 1 we can put at one place. Right? Uh, I have not kept 2 to the power n plus half and 2 raised to the power n plus half because their uh, so product although is going to give me, but their difference will give you 0. So that idea we have rejected so coming with this proposal uh, we can write this as 2 raised to the power n plus 1 minus 2 raised to the power n by 1 plus 2 raised to the power n into 2 raised to the power n plus 1 and it's not difficult to realize that this difference we can write as 2 raised to the power n minus 2 2 raised to the power n and if we are going to take 2 raised to the power n common it will give 2 to the power n, right? So this can be written as 10 inverse 2 raised to the power n plus 1 minus 10 inverse 2 raised to the power n. So we are almost done. So next is now the ritual of summation. So sigma 10 inverse 2 raised to the power n plus 1 minus 10 inverse 2 to the power n as n is running from 0 to 10. So let's say uh, we have the first term of this. If I'll expand this, we'll get t, t to the power 1 minus 10 inverse to the power 0 the next term will get cotan equals 1 2 raised to the power 2 minus 10 inverse 2 raised to the power 1 and so on so forth till the last term will get 10 inverse 2 raised to the power 11 so 2 raised to the power 11 minus 1 and if we are going to add them up we can right. see that the cancellation is cos inverse a b if you see the two blocks if you so take a is to the, the first power one is going to hit 11 the last plus 1 b is 2 raised to the power 11 minus last of the so first and the first of the last will be 2 to the power 10 
right last thing Q2 raised to power 11 plus 1 expansion plus 2 raised to power 11 minus 1 summation over 2 raised to power 11 plus 1 minus 2 raised to power 11 plus 1 minus 1 and which cancels these two expressions but you can simply write this we are left with log 2 raised to power 10 now I can string then log 2 minus 2 and this goes to 1 so the answer is this problem right so that is the takeaway thing from this is what idea we have to use to do this kind of sum of the telescopic series. Thank you.